Better late than never. Hello and welcome to our channel and let me just quickly give you a little insight into what I am going to solve today. Here is a problem from numerical solutions of ordinary differential equations. We have to find the solutions of dy by dx is equal to x minus y, y at 0 is equal to 1, at x is equal to 0 0.1 as well as 0 0.2 using the modified Euler's method. So in order to solve this, so given dy by dx is equal to x minus y, which means f of x comma y is equal to x minus y. And also given that y at 0 is equal to 1. So which means y naught is equal to 1 and x naught is equal to 0. And the h value, the step size is x2 minus x1. 0 0.2 minus 0 0.1 which is equal to 0 0.1. Therefore h. So all the values are ready here. And we have to use modified Euler's method. So for that, first we have to use Euler's method. So we'll use the Euler's method in order to find the value at y at 0. So which is equal to y naught plus h times of f of x naught y naught. So in this formula if I keep then y naught at 0 value is equal to what is y naught? This is 1 plus h is 0 0.1 and f of x naught and y naught. So here what is the function? This is x minus y. So here I can write this as 1 plus 0 0.1 into this is x minus y. So which means y1 at 0 is equal to 1 minus 0 0.1. y1 at 0 value is nothing but this is 0 0.9. So we need this. So now after getting this value I have to use modified Euler's method. So this is modified Euler's method. So according to this method, the formula here is that is y1 at n plus 1 is equal to this is y0 plus h pi 2 times of f of x0 y0. So this is x0 comma y0 plus f of x1 y1 at nth iteration. So, first of all, I am going to keep n is equal to 0. If I keep n is equal to 0 here, this will be y1 at first approximation is equal to, this is y0 plus h by 2 times of f of x0 y0 plus f of x1, this is y1 at 0. So, if I place n is equal to 0 here, so this is the form. So, I have all the values here, that is y1 at 1 is equal to, what is y0? So, y0 is nothing but 1 and h it is 0 point, this is 0 0.1 by 2 and f of what is x0? x0 is 0, y0 is 1 and here what is x1? So, x1 I will show you which is x0 plus h. So, x1 is equal to 0 plus 0 0.1, x1 is equal to 0 0.1. So, after getting this one x1 this is 0 0.1 y1 at 0 at 0 approximation is 0 comma 9 so we have a function that f of x comma y is nothing but x minus y if i substitute in that so the first approximation will be 1 plus 0 0.1 by 2 this is x and this is y so x minus y this is 0 0.1 minus 0 0.9 so if i solve this using the calcium c if I solve this using the calci, this is 0 minus 1 plus 0 0.1 minus 0 0.9 into 0 0.1 divided by 2 plus 1. So what is the answer here? This is 0 point, 0 0.91. Our first approximated value for y1 is 0 0.91. Later, so I have to go with, I have to put n is equal to so how much I have to keep n is equal to 1 now. So if I keep n is equal to now in this equation. So nothing changes except this one. So I am writing as it is. So here this value is y1 at second approximation is equal to. This is y0. Same goes h by 2 times of f of x0 y0 plus f of x 
1 y1 is the first uh, approximation only this value only changes so y1 it the second approximation is equal to what is y0 this is 1 same values plus 0 0.1 by 2 and f of x0 is 0 y0 is 1 plus f of x1 this is 0 0.1 and the latest value y1 at the first approximation is 0 0.91 so as you know that f of x comma y is equal to x minus y and this one will be 1 plus 0 0.1 by 2 this is x minus y plus this is also this is x minus y so if i calculate here See this one, 0 minus 1 plus 0 0.1 minus 0 0.91 into 0 0.1 divided by 2 plus 1. So the answer for this is y1 at the second approximation is 0 0.9095. So if I keep n is equal to, if I keep n is equal to 2 now, then see what will happen in the same formula if I keep n is equal to 2. The values doesn't change. This is y1 at third approximation is equal to 1 plus 0 0.1 by 2. This is f of 0 comma 1 x0 y0 same and f of this is x1 and uh, y1 at this second approximated value. So nothing changes except this last value that is 1 plus 0 0.1 by 2 plus f of x0 is 0 and y0 is 1 plus f of what is x1 0 0.1 and y1 to the latest value here is 0 0.9095 see here what happens y1 at third approximation is equal to 1 plus 0 0.1 by 2 plus x minus y this is 0 minus 1 this is 0 0.1 minus 0 0.9095 so what is the answer here so this is 0 0 minus 1 plus 0 0.1 minus 0 0.9095 into 0 0.1 divided by 2 plus 1 so what is the answer for this so y1 at third approximation is 0 0.9095 again. So if you get the similar values, so you can close it. Therefore, we can conclude that y1 is, so y1 is equal to 0 0.9095 and what is x1? This is 0 0.1. So y at 0 0.1 is 0 0.9095. This time we have to go with x2 so what is our x2 value x2 value is nothing but x1 plus h so x2 is equal to 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 so x2 is equal to 0 0.2 so later we have to calculate the value and for that again again we have to go with x is equal to so all the values are ready here and just we have to go with so we have x1 is equal to 0 0.1 so y1 value is just now i found out this one what is the y1 value this is 0 0.9095 so after getting this one so we have h value as 0 0.1 so we have to calculate x is equal to 0 0.2 we have to calculate y for that first of all we have to use euler's method so according to the Euler's method, we have to find y2 at 0 approximation, which is equal to the formula here is, I'll show you how to find the formula, that is y1 plus h times of f of x1, y1. So this is y2 at 0 approximation is equal to, what is y1? This is 0 0.9095 plus h, this is 0 0.1 and f of x1, 0 0.1 and y1 is 0 0.9095 and uh, y2 at 0 approximation is equal to 0 0.9095 plus 0 0.1, f of x comma y is nothing but x minus, this is y. So, if I calculate this one, see here 0 0.1 minus 0 0.9095 into 0 0.1 plus 0 
सो हाउ मच इज द वैल्यू हियर दैट इज वाई टू एच जीरो इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट एट टू एट फाइव सो एट टू एट फाइव इज द आंसर सो हियर डबल फाइव सो वाई टू एच जीरो आई कैन राइट एज जीरो पॉइंट एट टू एट सिक्स or else you can leave like this so now we have to go with the modified euler method so what is the formula for modified euler's method so i'll show you the formula for this this is y2 at n plus 1th approximation is equal to this is y1 plus h by 2 times of f of x1 y1 plus this is f of x2 this is y2 at nth approximation so first of all i will keep n is equal to 0 then this will be y2 at the first approximation value will be this is y1 plus h by 2 times of f of x1 y1 plus f of x2 y2 at the zeroth approximation so all the values are ready here so i'll substitute the values so y2 at first approximation what is y1 this is 0.9095 0.9095 and our h value is 0.1 by 2 plus f of x1 is 0.1 and again y1 is 0.9095 plus what is our x2 so x2 plus h 0.2 and y2 at 0 this value This is zero point eight two eight six. So after substituting all the values here, the first approximation of y two is equal to zero point nine zero nine five plus zero point one by two, and this is f of x comma y, which is equal to x minus this is y plus this is also x minus eight two eight six. Eight two eight six. here the value is 0.1 so this is 0.1 minus 0.9095 plus 0.2 minus 0.8286 into 0.1 divided by 2 plus 0.9095 so the answer here is 0.8375 So y two at the first approximation is equal to zero point eight three seven five. After getting this, again we have to repeat by keeping n is equal to this time n is equal to one. If I keep n is equal to one, all the values are same, but this value will go as y two at the first approximation. See, I am writing directly y two at the second approximation is equal to. See here the same values runs. That is y one. Plus h by two times of f of x one y one plus f of x two into this one y two at the first approximation and same values here. What is y one? Same values. This is zero point nine zero nine five. H is zero point one by two and f of x one. So what is x one here? Zero point one comma again y one zero point nine zero nine five plus f of x two. 0.2 and this value is 0.8375 so y2 at the second approximation is 0.9095 plus 0.1 by 2 x minus y this is 0.1 minus 0.9095 plus this is 0.2 minus 0.8375 So if I use the calcium salt, this is zero point one minus zero point nine zero nine five plus zero point two minus zero point eight three seven five into zero point one divided by two plus zero point nine zero nine five. The answer here is again y two at the separate second approximation is zero point eight three seven one. so again we have to go with n is equal to 2 this time so if i keep n is equal to 2 in this formula and see what will happen so if i keep n is equal to 2 
2 plus 1 this is 3 the third approximated value is equal to this is y1 and again h by 2 of x1 y1 plus f of x2 into y2 of a second approximation so if i substitute all the values here what is y1 so all the values are ready here that is a 0 0.9095 and same all the values plus 0 0.1 by 2 and f of 0 0.1 comma 0 0.9095 plus f of 0 0.2 and the latest value here is 0 0.8371 so here 0 0.8371 so if i calculate this value this is 0 0.9095 plus 0 0.1 by 2 x minus y 0 0.1 minus 0 0.9095 plus this is 0 0.2 minus 0 0.8371 and see what will happen this is 0 0.1 minus 0 0.9095 plus 0 0.2 minus 0 0.8371 into 0 0.1 divided by 2 plus 0 0.9095 the answer here, sorry, 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 what happened? So 0 0.1 minus 0 0.9095 plus 0 0.2 minus 0 0.8371 into 0 0.1 divided by 2 plus 0 0.9095. So the answer is again 0. Point so this is the third approximated value is 0 0.8371 so it's very similar to the first uh, second approximation 0 0.8371 here also we got 0 0.8371 and therefore we can close as y2 value as 0 0.8371 so what is our x2 x2 value is nothing but this is 0 0.2 so this is 0 0.2 therefore y at 0 0.2 value is 0 0.8371 so these are the values which is asked in the question so you have to make three approximations so y at 0 0.1 is 0 0.9095 and y at 0 0.2 is 0 0.8371 first of all we have to use Euler's method and then we have to go with modified Euler's method and find the values at we have to find the solution if you make the solution we'll get the y and y at 0 0.1 value is given and shown here y at 0 0.1 value is 0 0.9095 and y at 0 0.2 is 0 0.8371 this is how we have to solve all you have got to do is just practice just do it with passion and you will definitely overcome your mistakes We'll meet you in my next video very soon. Until then, stay safe. And please, if you like, don't forget to raise your thumb, share it with your friends and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much.